first of all, I wanted to ask you, I saw a video of you guys, you were prepping, I think, for a big show in Boston not too long ago, and the video had yeah. you guys in the garage, you were like yeah. welding together some kind of roll cage or something, what What were you building, <laughs> was it a new drum set, what were you building? Uh, our bass player Daniel's a welder in the band, Yeah. Um, he actually built like my drums up front that you yeah. see, there's uh, bike chains and tractor gears and all kinds of shit that was from all over in our garage uh actually it was a garage that our landlord who's a friend of ours where we we recorded the record in this house right but he is a huge car guy he's got um like four cars in his backyard all different projects right you know, he's working on he's always working on something so there's parts everywhere all the time um but anyway our bass player daniel was welding this new stage piece that we were hoping was going to be ready by this tour um, but it just wasn't ready in time. Um, but it's basically, we're calling it the scorpion tail. It's base, it's this uh, really jagged looking extension off of the drums. So I have these drums up front, right, that yeah. are a lot of metal. And it's going to be this huge add-on piece that I lock in and it comes way up and curves around. And I don't want to give too much away, but it's we're mixing electronics with mechanics um, in in ways of how I'm controlling this device. I'm going to be standing on the drums. and it's, So it's kind it's, of robotic? Yeah, kind of. Um, but I'm going to be controlling it with uh, levers on it and physically just being able to push it with a spring. And there's going to be MIDI, uh, which is a lang like digital right. language to control instruments with. So I'm going yeah. to be controlling them and doing all kinds of crazy stuff. But... Just wasn't ready for this tour. We were, we were Well, trying. yeah, it sounds pretty damn intense. I mean, it's a lot of work to yeah, put in there. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of planning. Um, but I think when we come back on the next record for the next tour, we're going to have a whole new show, and that'll be a part of it. Now, you actually don't spend the whole time behind the kid. You're you're out all over the stage on live and concert, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, um, I, I used to be the original drummer in the band, and so I took some drums with me up front because I couldn't fully let go. It's my first love. Yeah. But, you know, you got to hit something at least once during the set. I mean, that's why I got into this in the first place. Um, Just to bang on shit. Yeah, that, and call it music, man. Exactly. And so, yeah, I, I, I get to jump around. And, uh, you know, as a kid, I was always, you know, watching home videos myself as an adult. I was crazy and super annoying, I'm sure, to everyone around <laughs> me. And now that I get to do this as a career, I think it's... It's the Let's outlet you needed. Outlet yeah. and, and then I can be calm throughout the rest of the day and not be a nuisance to everyone. Awesome. Now, uh, we were talking just a minute ago. You're not that big of a car guy, but I know you've got to have some kind of crazy car story. Like, what was the first car you ever bought with your own money? Oh, my own money? Because like, mine was a gigantic piece of crap. I'm sure yours uh, <laughs> probably wasn't that great. Well, I had my first car for a long time, which um, I paid for part of it. My parents helped me out. Though. Right. And it, that was a Honda CRV. <laughs> it was just, <laughs> but I could fit my drums in it. That was it was and it was a four cylinder. There you go. And I could fit my drums. Those were my, and it had a good stereo. You could get to the it, regional I, shows on one tank of gas. Yeah, with that, the drums. That's that's all. That was my requirement. So, um, but right now, uh, the one I bought, uh, I guess I ran that thing into the ground. Yeah. And then, uh, I got a Honda. Uh, what's it called? It's the tiny cheap one because i'm never home and when i use it it's just city driving it's like the civic the or the, civic yeah yeah i had the civic and i got it from a an old grandma who rarely drove it so it's oh. in great condition <laughs> that's awesome <laughs> hey thanks for taking the time with us today man we really appreciate it